Hello besties! It is Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts and today we are going to make this beautiful bow out of paper. And it's really easy to make. It looks kind of complex, but it's really not. And so let's go ahead and get started. So, to begin with, you need to use double sided paper or a plain cardstock would work. And you will need eight strips that are one inches by six inches. So this is what my double sided paper looks like. Alright, so that's eight strips that are one inch by six inch. You'll need four strips that are one inch by five inches and then one strip that is one inch by four. And the reason that I chose double-sided paper was so that my bow has double-sided goodness to it, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. But like I said, you wouldn't need to or have to do it double-sided. So the next step that we do is, let me kind of get some of this out of the way is we're going to put adhesive on one end of our strips. So you're going to keep your strips in the same order, okay, because we're going to alternate. So I'm going to just use my good old scoring, what, tearaway tape, whatever you call it, and I'm just going to put tape on one end. This is quarter of an inch. And I'm going to do that on every single piece, okay? Um, even even our small one, the one inch by four inch. All you need to do is one end, all right? So I will continue that, and like I said, keep keep your you know like on this one, we're going to put it on the colored end and do it and then on my little one by five inch piece yeah my one by five inch piece I want this side to be my main color so I want to do it on this side and then on my uh, one by four inch piece which is actually the loop in the center I'm just gonna put it on one end so I'm going to go ahead and do that because you don't want to watch me do all of these that way. And then I will come on back. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about my phone ringing there at the end of the last little part before I cut you off. I forgot to turn my phone off. My son had his wisdom teeth out yesterday, so I wanted to keep my phone on just in case he needed to text me because... He needed something, but I forgot to turn it off. Anyway, as you can see, I have the tearaway scoring tape or whatever um, on the top of each of my pieces. Okay, so now we're going to put them all together. And you're going to put them all together the same except for our one by four inch piece. So let me slide these out of the way and show you with this. Okay, so you're going to take the paper backing off, alright, and so here's the sticky end, and I'm going to keep the sticky end in my right hand, and then I'm going to bring my left hand around, and I'm going to bring it over top of that sticky part, and some of that sticky part is going to show through, and that's okay, and you're going to center the point in between the the one inch there and then you're gonna push it down okay doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna you're gonna cover most of it up but let's do that again because you're gonna do it on all of the pieces okay so take the paper backing off And then let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the glue. 
I'm going to hold that end in my right hand. I'm going to take the other hand in my left and we're going to flip it over so that the corner of this one is in the center. See that? It's in the center right there of that one and we're just going to push it down. Okay? So this corner is in the center of that one. Alright, got it? I'll do it one more time. And then you don't want to watch me do them all. Alright, so adhesive, my right hand, the other side in my left hand, and you're going to bring that one over top to the center of the one with the adhesive, and then you're going to center the corner with adhesive in the center of the one that doesn't have adhesive, and you're going to push it down. See, we're getting the loops of our bow. It's real easy once you get started. Once you get started, adhesive, right hand, flip it over, corner goes halfway, this corner halfway, this corner halfway, and push it down. Okay? So that was my one row. And see the main colors on the outside. The, the patterns on the inside, which you really won't see, but let's go ahead and do the rest of them. So I'm going to turn the camera off again. I'm going to do these super quick and then I will be back. So hang on. Okay, besties, I'm back and I have my three rows um, all um, glued together. <laughs> couldn't find the word there for a minute. So this is the center of my bow. And so I wanted to show you what I do with this one. This is the one by four inch piece. And to make it easier to curl um, into the center is I just take my pencil and get a curl going already on it. And you know, that's not anything new or whatever, but that'll just help you to get the shape. And then you just, you know, glue it into a circle. All right, so we have our pieces. Now, how do we put it together? Okay, so you're going to need um, a punch. And I'm not sure what size punch this is, but it's a really tiny hole because we are going to put each of our rows together with brads these tiny little brads so whatever you use to make your holes for grommets or little brads that's the punch you're going to use and like I said I don't know what size it is it's super tiny oh wait it says it's 1 16th of an inch and so to do this what I do is you have like your straight side and then you have this angled side right I just take the straight side and line it up with the hole wait how do you see that um, the hole right there where the punch goes through or that there's kind of a um, oh like a little lip here at the bottom just as long as you do them the same way that's really what's all that's important but that's how I line all mine up so I put them in straight and line it up hopefully in the center and then make a punch all right and you probably not really see it because it's like 1 16th of an inch but I'm going to do that on all of these except the center. Alright, so line it up and punch and line it up 
and punch. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to do that all on all of those. So, I'm not going to stop right now and do those because you were going to put each of these rows together the same way. So, I'll go ahead and show you how to do one row. So, you take your tiny little brad here and you put it in the hole. And then you put the next one on. See that? And then you put the next one on. And then you put the last one on. Oops. Yep. There we go. All right. And it's tiny. So then you just fold the sections apart and flatten it out the best that you can. And then you have some, you know, little wiggle room there where you can straighten your bows, your um, loops out, I guess. But that's kind of how your piece is going to look. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these two rows, and then we'll put this wonderful bow together, and we'll be done. So, I will be back again. Okay, so I'm back. I have all my pieces put together, and now we're going to glue them. And I found the easiest and the quickest way to glue them is to use hot glue. So take my bottom piece. This is the one I chose, remember, because it's solid on the outside. And I'm going to put glue on the bottom of the next row up, just because it's easier to put glue up on there. And then I'm just going to center it in between those bows. Loops. Whatever you call them, I guess. What do you call them? Loops because we're making a bow. Alright, and then when it's set, this one will go on, and it will go on with its little loops here in between those loops. So again, more hot glue. I told you you wouldn't see that part. And we're going to push it down in there, and I'm going to hold it. sets up, which, you know, is usually pretty quick. Alright, and then I have my center piece, which is going to slide down in there. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of it. And kind of slide it in there. And then I kind of just try and get in there and push it down best I can. It's kind of hard because it's kind of a tight fit. It's not super hard. It's just, it's not hard. It's just awkward. There we go. We'll just say it's just awkward. All right. So there's my bow. Ta-da. Wasn't that easy? Super easy. And then if you wanted to, you could cut out like a circle or something and put on the back side if you wanted. But you're, you're going to, you know, usually glue that down or something so nobody's going to see it anyway. So there's that bow. Isn't that cute? And then I made one that is a quarter of the size. Isn't it cute? So, so little. So cute. And it really wasn't hard to make. It was a little bit trickier doing the bows because the pieces are smaller. But I will go ahead and put in my description box the measurements I used to make this one and also uh, measurements of how I made this one. And they're both made the same way. So, really simple and really cute. I think kind of fun. And you could use these for birthday or any gift. And you could use it to decorate a gift bag. Uh, box, um, whatever you like. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make a bow. And if you did like it, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and tap that bell so that you don't miss any out on any of my new uh, videos. And check out our Facebook group, uh, Fun Life on a Budget, featuring Bestie Becky, 
we'd love to have you join and also check out my besties YouTube channel I'll leave all those links below in my description box and I hope you stop by for the next video I had a lot of fun crafting with you today and I hope you give this a try and keep crafting yourself and I will catch you next time bye